Hey, Hell's Geek, happy 10. Uh, wow, you're 10 years old. It's hard to believe. Um, well, I think that's what it is, right? Uh, time flies, we grow up and uh, uh, here we are, 10 years old. So how did I first come across Hell's Geek? I think it was, um, I don't exactly remember the day or the, or the month, but I remember sitting in the office and I got an email uh, that talked about something called Hell's Geek. And then I think it was just around the time when Kiran and Zainab had started this and then there was a mail going out or there was this buzz in the ecosystem. Somehow I picked it up because back in the days, I was working for uh, the Indus Entrepreneurs in the Bangalore chapter and I was very privileged to have a lot of this information coming uh, my way because, um, you know, people were talking and I would pick up on things like that. And then I said, oh, what is this Hasky? Let me now go and see this. And I and I opened the, you know, the uh, Hasgeek uh, website and then I was like, wow. I mean, it was love at first sight. It was an instant fan mo moment, right? So um, it was it was bold. The branding was awesome. It was, uh, it was speaking the right language. It was, um, you know, it was inspiring the right kind of culture. And um, it was a radical statement, so to say, compared to a lot of other things that was going on in Bangalore at that time. And it was really refreshing. And, um, uh, you know, I, it was an instant fan moment for me. I just really fell in love instantly about everything that they were doing. There was, there was something in it, right? There was something so uh, simple, quirky, sexy. I mean, that's just a combination of all of these things that that's how sort of Hasky came to me and I, I fell in love with Hasky. I mean, it's just amazing, um, you know, to have found something like that at that time where I was uh, in my life uh, in the entrepreneurial and ecosystem development journey that I was going through. Um, oh man, Hasky's impact, that's a, that's a tough one to quantify, trust me. Uh, I don't think even Hasgeek is, is you know, sort of knows or is in a position to quantify that. So from my point of view, a personal story is that uh, uh, from, uh, you know, uh, professionally to begin with first, I think, um, you know, uh, Hasgeek uh, gave me a lot of inspiration, right? We collaborated on a few projects, uh, uh, you know, especially at a time when one of my startups was really going through a bad patch. Um, has we incubated us and sort of saw us through for a year, uh, you know, even sort of gave us a job and kept us in the system and then paid us money to pay our bills. And it was a really tough time back in the days. And then Hasgeek sort of uh, helped us through. And that's sort of a personal story to it. But professionally speaking, I think uh, Hasgeek has inspired me personally in so many different ways of you know, looking at how to build a brand, how to build a community, how to collaborate with people and how to do things and keep things open. So Hasgeek has a lot of these things that it has done uh, and inspired so many of us in the journey. And it's just, I can't imagine a Bangalore's ecosystem looking back in the last 10 years, uh, to a large extent the Indian ecosystem looking back in the last 10 years without having Hasgeek in it. It's, it's just impossible, think about it, right? I mean, I don't see, um, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it has it has done so much. It has done so much culturally and for the community and for the clan and for the for the for the you know the geek community in general, the startup community overall. It's done a lot of of, of work uh, to impact and create what we have today in India and to to specifically in Bangalore. Um, Kiran and you know Zainab, personally speaking, are like family to us. But then Hasgeek, you know. The way we look at Hasgeek uh, is Kiran, Zainab, Hasgeek all together as one. Um, my personal association with Hasgeek really comes from the point of view of the brand. Uh, and my love for Hasgeek and the impact that it has had on me personally speaking is more of the brand because I'm not a technologist. So I am not the first uh, you know, benefactor, so to say, of the impact that technology work that they are doing. But for me, it was how they were doing it. It was the brand and the going about how they built the brand. I think that uh, was the impact that I had. And, uh, you know, it was uh, it was okay to sort of be minimalistic. It was okay to not conform to the regular ways of doing things uh, in India, right? I mean, this you got to understand in India, 
uh, 10 to 12 years back, things were very different uh, from what it is today in the startup scene. People were very conservative. People, uh, you know, did not take bold steps. Let me just simply put it that way. And as we did take a bold step in the community development space for in India, and, and I think it was the first company in, in anywhere in India to have started something like this. And then um, and, and more so in Bangalore, which created a lot of impact, a lot of impact. Uh, so, yeah, so, you know, uh, the, the, the personal story, story of the, of the Hasgeek, people behind Hasgeek, which is something that I'm pretty, you know, inspired by as well as to how the husband and wife team have been, it happens to be husband and wife team, but, you know, they're very professional. I'm sure you know that, uh, they, you know, you're doing a great job at it, bringing up a child in between all of these things, building a startup and going through tough times. I'm sure you're going through a challenging times even now. Um, uh, it's not easy and I think it's a great inspiration uh, to a lot of people out there. Um, so hats off to you guys for doing what you do. Uh, you guys have, uh, you know, co-founders in each other who are um, sort of, uh, you know, a, a balancing uh, a, a setup, which is very refreshing to see. And um, I only hope more and more uh, great work comes out of you guys. Um, I know it's not about you, it's about Hasgig, but still there is no Hasgig without you guys so far. So it's important to mention it. Uh, okay, um, what do I want to talk about? What do I want to tell Hasgeek on its 10th birthday? Look, Hasgeek, you're not a child anymore, right? You're growing up, you're now hit your 10th. Um, I think uh, uh, stay open, right? Stay open and inclusive because, um, you know, that's the most sexiest thing about you. Uh, you know, the fact that, that, that the culture that you stand for and, you know, the the office space that you have, the way you open, you know, the doors up for people to walk in and talk to you about everything. Uh, I know it's tough. I know it's not easy, but figure out, figure out how you can continue to be sexy, quirky, bohemian sort of a thing that you are uh, for the community and stay open, stay inclusive. That's the most important thing for you. Don't forget that. Don't ever forget that. Um... You know, you have a responsibility, Haskeek, because, uh, you know, the last 10 years of your life uh, has not been uh, an easy ride. Uh, there's a lot of the struggles that you have gone through. Uh, I think that needs to come out. Tell your story more often. Tell us tell us your brains. Tell us your uh, difficult times. Uh, let the community know because it's uh, one, it's, you know, it, that's, that's your culture. That's your DNA. But I think the other thing is uh, you owe it. To the community because uh, the struggle that you go through sometimes uh, are the struggles of the community too. So uh, you need to tell more about your story. We want to hear more about your pains. We want to hear more about your wins. Um, importantly, the, the the impact that you have created in the ecosystem, right? Uh, it's just un, uh, it's just sort of not documented well. I think we don't know. Uh, enough about all the greatest things that you have created in the in the system today and i hope this video is one of those beginnings and you know we get to hear more about all the great things that you have done i know you don't like to talk a lot about yourself but i think it's time because uh, not only are you going to be telling us about your story but i think uh, it's also about inspiring more and more people in the country to come together to say hey i'm a community builder this is the challenges, these are the wins, these are the greatest highs, this is the playbook, this is what things uh, work, this is how things work, this is how things don't work. That story, uh, I think, uh, has to come out, uh, has to be. You need to tell us your story. Tell us more of your story, enough of uh, serious stuff, have a lot of fun, enjoy, uh, may you sort of, you know, uh, you know, celebrate your 50th and hopefully we're going to be alive to tell this story and I want to come and tell this story uh, every time you hit a milestone because I think uh, I have sort of sat on the sidelines and looked at your, your grow in the last 10 years um, and I'm, I'm still in love. I'm still in love with you and uh, you're still very dear to my heart and uh, uh, yeah, what can I say? Happy birthday. Have fun. Keep doing the great thing that you do and live, uh, live happily.